Okay, so today I took these, but I also did this. Uh -huh, this my shit. Enjoy. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be attempting to do some water splash photography. Um, I did this a while ago with Dhruv. I'll throw up the photos right now. What it consists of, and I did see it from Hayden Patronet, or I forget his exact name, but it's a YouTuber. He did something like this a while, while ago before the whole pandemic, and I was like, you know, it takes two people, why not try it for one? I'm really testing my abilities right now to see if I'm able to pull off things with only one person, because we're stuck at home, um, and my family doesn't want to help me. So pretty much what it's gonna involve is putting a glass in front of the lens and then splashing water at the glass and trying to get that really shallow depth of field. So we're gonna need a couple things. First of all, we're gonna need glass. Second of all, since we're only one person, I'm gonna need tape so I can tape the glass to my lens because I don't want to get water all over my lens. And then what else do we need? Maybe some props, find a cool location. I'm really only in my backyard, so I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to take this, but we are going to attempt that. So uh, let's go grab some props. Yeah. This picture frame right here. I'm just gonna take uh, the glass out of the picture frame, but be careful if you're doing this because glass can cut you. Glass can cut you. And that's never fun. Alrighty. Um, I should probably clean this glass though before, so let me just see if I have a little lens cleaner. Give her a quick scrub, you know what I mean? I don't know how well this is gonna do, honestly. I very much doubt that we'll be able to see, and this thing's gonna get dirty anyway because we're gonna be throwing water at it, but might as well try my best. Okay, so let's go grab props and let's go grab some tape. Just touched it and I felt greasy. Almost fell down the stairs. Have the good old glass. If I put this over, see the difference? Not really, right? Um, and you need glass because uh, you want to protect your lens pretty much, that's the reason. I have this old mask. I don't know, it's been sitting in my mudroom for a while. Let's see if it lights up. I don't even know if it's gonna make a difference. Oh, it's out of batteries. Oh, never mind, it's not out of batteries, it's just dark. It only works when it's dark. Okay, I'm gonna go get my stuff. Let me know if anyone steals my camera. I'm gonna go get the tape, is what I meant. Hey, hey, come back here. Okay, well, we got the tape here, so we're ready to set up. Last thing before we start, you're gonna want a nice wide angle lens. Look at that bad boy. See that right there? This is a lens, uh, it is a Sam Young knockoff brand, Sam Yang, full frame, fully manual 14 mil f2.8. I borrowed it from a friend, it's not actually mine, so I'm gonna be using it for this video. Because as you can see from the past photos we took, do want that wide angle look. Don't do this at home. Never do that, I'm a professional. Go. Oh. Lens on. This is my first time using this lens and it's not letting me shoot video in manual mode. So I'm just gonna do a quick Google search, baby. Okay, so I did fix that. As you can see, this man, look at, whoa, it's so wide. I've never shot with a wide angle. Like, look, ooh, I get close. My face, so skinny, so skinny. And that's what wide angles do. They'll pretty much compress everything together. So as you can see here, my face is gonna be a lot skinnier. That is a quick tip for you, but we're gonna get into this. I just need to figure out how to attach the glass and then we can start doing it. This would be a lot easier. I had a second person here. Okay, so here, as you can see, I got the glass covered. My problem here is above. Scared water is gonna get in there. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of tape and hopefully that'll protect it. I don't know. Sorry, mom, if I break the glass. There you go, we got the glass. A little bit of tape covering the lens, but it doesn't really show through the viewfinder. Then there you go, I got that wall to protect from the water. So now all we need is a glass of water and then we can do it. We can finally take these photos. Okay, we're all set up here. We got our water. Last thing to note, pretty much, you're just gonna be running your timer for 10 seconds and then getting in frame. And you have to kind of time throwing the water at the lens for when the shutter releases. You can also, if you have your phone, connect via Wi-Fi to your camera. Pretty simple, just search up how to do it online for your camera model. And then from there, you can release the shutter from your simple click of the button on your camera. So yeah, let's do it.
Okay, so that was pretty much the first location. Check out the photos. You guys see me through the water? A little splish splash, eh? Um, okay, so we are done the photos there. I hope you can hear me right now or that would be really awkward. What I'm thinking now is we switch up the composition a bit. I wanna try something from above. So kind of throwing the water upward and maybe, you know what would actually be even sicker? I'm gonna write down an idea. If I had a second person here and I can make them drop the water, so it looks like it's raining on me, like kind of like from a shower head perspective, but like rain, it's weird. So now we're gonna kind of go from a higher perspective, throw the water upwards. I also noticed that having the top off where better because more water comes out so it makes a cooler a cooler shot so yeah let me just set that up real quick so the problem we're getting now is the glass is like falling over so we have to add some more tape okay so as you can see now it works but the thing is there's that reflection showing off the back so I need to put something behind the camera like a piece of white foam core or something like or a black foam core to kind of just eliminate that okay so I got this bag right here I'm just gonna kind of throw it over the camera Note though, I probably won't be able to press the shutter button, so I'm gonna have to use my phone for this one. Let me also just show you the setup I have here. Got some tape there, holding this, aiming down. So yeah, let's just throw this bag over and let's take some photos. Okay, so those were the photos outside pretty much. They were sick. Honestly, that was really fun. It's getting freezing though, so we're gonna move inside. I'm gonna try to use that mask I showed you at the start. I can see if I can do anything with that. Other than that, this has been pretty successful so far. So let's move inside. Okay, so we've moved into the bathroom. The only place I can really throw water around in my house is gonna be the bathtub. I got the same setup as before there. I just got the glass in front of the little camera, so it's perfectly set. And I'm gonna turn off all the lights and then I'm going to use this bad boy. And we're gonna see if we can get something. I think the batteries are dead. There you go. So yeah, let's see if uh, we can make some water. So yeah, that's pretty much the video. These are the photos we were able to take. You know, I kind of switched it up because the water thing wasn't working as well, which kind of sucks, but it was still decent. Let me know if you guys try this. I'd love to see your photos. Tag me on Instagram, Dax Brule. Tag me on TikTok, at Dax Brule, everywhere at Dax Brule. Or just email me too. I'd, I'd love to see your attempts at these water splash photos. You guys enjoy creators. Keep creating. We'll see you in the next one. I can't do the hand thing because the glasses over. See you guys. Bye.